Hey guys, welcome back to the Sunday vlog. Hope you had a great week. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm, I just came in here. My, my uh, Julie Nestor, who's a really good friend and a gallery owner, uh, which if you can get those two things in the same sentence, it's kind of amazing. She's, they're wonderful. But anyway, Julie Nestor Gallery, she, she stopped by last week and she pointed at this painting and said, I like this. And you know, we have so many people want these kind these shaped paintings. And I was talking last week about different shapes, right? Uh, for, for paintings. And this horizontal thing is kind of cool because you can put stuff on your wall underneath it. And I actually need one of these for my house right now because I'm, I'm redoing my house. And, but anyway, uh, so, so she's like, do finish what's going on with that? You know, so it got me, I saw this thing sitting in the corner. So I thought I would go for it. I don't have a lot of time. And I thought, oh, this is a perfect time to, uh, this might be helpful for you when to get something going when you haven't worked on it for a while. Like I haven't worked on this. I don't even remember what this was about. Um, I set a stopwatch and I just, I just go for it like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I thought, that I would uh, share that with you because that's a really cool idea and um, it gets you out of your head and it's a, it's a, it's a thing. And I, I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but I thought I would do that and speed this up so you can just see what I, whatever I make out of this thing. And uh, it might fire you up for today. If you don't think you have a lot of time and you just go to your studio and you have half an hour, um, you can make a mess like I'm just about to. So. Uh, but no, seriously, I use um, a stopwatch all the time. I got this clock. It's like a racing clock on the wall over there. And I, I almost always paint with, with kind of like, okay, I, I have this much time. Take it seriously. Take risks. Go for it. Loosen up. Um, don't answer your phone. Do the thing. Drop into the thing fully for half an hour, right? You know, and I think I'll, I'll probably work on this half an hour, seriously. So this will be sped up so you'll be able to get a sense of it. Um, Okay, so let me just let me just show this to you. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> Couple things I'm thinking about when I'm painting. Sometimes we feel like I'm really not sure what I'm doing most of the time. And I think it's okay if, I think that's okay if you know you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and so much of the way I work is I'm finding my way as I go and I'm just trying things and feeling things and um, I just want to make that clear, like I'm just really experimenting and, and sometimes and out of that will come something. Also flipping it upside down, like this suddenly got a lot better um, and it did, did some things that I wouldn't normally do. I some interesting things happening from flipping it upside down. Anyway, those are just a couple, couple thoughts as I was working away here. So anyway, I hope this was you know, inspiring or something. Uh, this idea of using time. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments how 
you uh, show up and, and take a section of time and, and make this thing work, um, you know, get to work and not be distracted because that's, that's it. It's not so much how long we work, it's how, uh, how much we can drop in. Speaking of dropping in uh, to who you are and what you're doing, uh, this week on the podcast, I'm interviewing this really amazing guy. His name's Adam Rosendahl, and he's got this, uh, it's basically this company now. It's so cool. It's called uh, Late Night Art, and he goes all over the world. Literally, the guy just travels all over Turkey, Greece, Italy, Istanbul, everywhere, and he does these really cool workshops, and he's mostly now doing it for different companies and different organizations um, using art and using music and prompts and questions, all the things. I love all the things he uses, um, but he, he's, his art is, uh, what his art is, is bringing people together and creating connections and making uh, people connect dots and drop into who they are and, and get out of their heads it's just so cool. Like that's, that's his art. And he's also an amazing artist as well as an incredible DJ, this facilitator and the founder of this cool company called Late Night Art. So he's my guest this coming Wednesday. And um, you got to check it out. It's really, really great. Um, but what's really great and uh, is you got to look at his work. He does, he does portraits of, of people, speakers, uh, inspiring thought leaders. And he does all these thought, uh, he writes all this stuff that they speak about. It's super inspiring and it's, his work's really, really cool. But mostly he's in this collaborations, he does collaborations, facilitates large groups, hundreds of people at a time. It's so cool. The thing that's great about Adam is his friggin' music. And I was listening to his music uh, while I was working here. So show up for the podcast, check it out, check out the show notes, and you'll be able to, um, we'll give you links to all of his um, music um, lists on Spotify. He's been composing lists of music since he was 11 years old, so he's really good at it. And what he's into is finding music that he hasn't heard before. So I find a ton of music uh, for my workshops. I've always used Adam as a really great resource, so that's cool. Anyway, you guys, I hope some of this was uh, inspiring for you today. And I will see you um, Wednesday on the podcast. And thanks again for sharing uh, the vlog and letting your friends uh, find out about it and the podcast as well. It's really cool um, to see more and more people uh, coming. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. I hope you have a really great Sunday and you can get into the studio at least for 25 minutes. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.